yes 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 okay hello beautiful people and welcome back to a new weekly video i am sharing some delicious plant-based breakfast ideas for you that i know y'all are going to love i'm also going to make some juice in this video and share a quick grocery haul i hope you enjoy Priority number one of being back is to stock the fridge because we got rid of so many items because we were gone for so long. Like we were gone for at least like a week and a half. So it was time to re-up. So I'm gonna take you guys through everything that I picked up from the grocery store and what you'll see me cook with in some of these meals. So we're just gonna go down the line, okay? So I really wanna make a meatball sub this week for lunch. So I got these impossible meat meatballs. I'm also going to give the daring chicken another chance and just season it up really good. So I picked this up. And then like for breakfast during the week, I wanted to have these breakfast sausages to go with, whether it be a fruit parfait or a parfait, um, you know, oatmeal or something. So I decided to get these. You know your girl is a seaweed stan, so pick me up some seaweed. I just need to like start stocking up on this, but I'm excited. Got the teriyaki. Also picked up some nutritional yeast. I ran out, so it was definitely time to pick some more up. I have some dino kale back here. I picked up some oyster mushrooms, which I'm really excited about. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with these, but I'm excited to try them. Well, I'm excited to figure something out. I also wanna make some vegan crab cakes, which I have the recipe on my page, and I think I've made it on my channel before, but I wanna make it again this week. So, picked up some lion's mane mushroom. If you're not familiar with lion's mane, this is how it looks. All right, but it's also really good for you too. Y'all, why did I think I was just about to get like this much turmeric? I got an entire bag on accident of turmeric. So we have that, but I purchased this so I can start making some teas. Um, when I was feeling under the weather last time, I made some tea using the turmeric, uh, ginger, as well as some garlic, and it really knocked the cold right out of me. So I wanted to pick that up, especially with the weather changing, which, is happening now so got the turmeric as I mentioned got some ginger I have my green onion which I needed some lemon back here I have some onions so I have a yellow onion and a red onion I also have some shallots I am a huge fan of shallots um, also picked up some broccoli some bananas i'm gonna do like an orzo soup so i picked up this orzo pasta which i'm really excited about i know that i did receive a question last time regarding like the pasta that i use and if it's completely vegan here's the ingredients on this one so it's just wheat and water so that's great this is the orzo this is what it looks like um this is the cheese that i picked up so my three go-to brands are follow your heart so delicious as well as chow creamy well chow i guess is the brand name and then they have like the creamy slices or creamy shreds shreds oh my gosh excuse me um but yeah so got some follow your heart cheese also picked up some basil because i have my little list of things that i want to make this week and basil is on that list i want to have some arugula salads with some of these meals so i got some baby arugula I also have some sushi, so <laughs> sushi, some nori sheets. So I picked up the nori sheets one because y'all know I love seaweed. Hello, but also when it comes to my vegan crab cakes, uh oh, and I'll show y'all the process. But I like to use the seaweed sheets to wrap the crab cake patty in, well, the vegan crab cake patty in, and just like let it marinate overnight. Picked up some fruit, which it just has some. Um, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I wanted the Miyoko, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, vegan butter, but this is what was in stock. So this will be my first time trying it. If you've tried this brand before, let me know. But, oh, uh-uh, this is a best buy. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to file a claim on that one. 
Um, I also got some Kite Hill Ricotta, which I'm excited about. And then I got some Rotel. I think this was in my car by accident. Didn't mean to. Also got some classic unsweetened coconut milk, as well as two cans of garbanzo beans. Let's do that. Yeah, two cans of garbanzo beans, which will be delicious. But that is everything that I bought at the grocery store, which again I will be using a majority of these in the meals that you have seen or are seeing in this video. Good morning, y'all. Um, it has been, I guess, like getting readjusted to being back in Virginia versus when we were on our trip. It's been a journey. Like, we've actually been waking up super early because of the time difference. I think it was like, it was a six hour time difference when we were in Paris and Amsterdam, but then a five hour time difference when we were in London. So getting adjusted to it. Um, but we all actually came back and Brandon wasn't feeling his best. So he's been taking medicine, also like ginger, turmeric, and tea and stuff like that. So I'm actually about to make uh, some turmeric and ginger shots. Add a little black pepper in there, maybe a little cayenne, just to give us a little boost. Here's my juice it's the Breville. I can't remember like the exact like number or whatever, but I will link it in the description box. I've used it several times and I really, really like it. So this is what we're gonna be using this morning to make those turmeric and ginger shots. You ready for your turmeric and ginger shot? I ain't gonna be there. <laughs> I've been talking to people walking here. We've been talking about next year, and I'm sitting there saying, I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> this is the container that I'm putting the turmeric and ginger mix in. I'm also gonna add some black pepper to it. It's just a recycled container. We want some, we'll just pour it in a shot glass and drink it. Brandon's a DJ this morning, but here are our shots. Let me just get some napkins just in case. Not too shabby. Cheers. I made that actually taste good by adding that agave. I think I scarred him from yesterday, y'all. I made the tea that had like turmeric, ginger, um, garlic. He was not rocking with it. Yeah, not bad, right? That's way better. I really want to make some breakfast this morning. But ooh, this is good. Good job, honey. Y'all, Europe was such an amazing time. Can't wait for y'all to see. Well, I guess by the time you watch this, you would have already watched the Europe vlog. So if you're watching this and you have not watched the Europe vlog, make sure you go check it out. Okay, so since you've seen me last, I've gotten a workout in. Um, I also started to work on my Europe vlog, which I'm very excited about. Just such a great time. And now I'm about to make some brunch. We are supposed to be running to pick up some more decor for the house for Christmas, which I'm very excited about. It just looks so pretty already. Um, something's missing, oh, okay, anyway, sorry. Got distracted. But right now I'm about to make brunch. We're going to have some vegan French toast, also a tofu scramble, and some plant-based sausage. I'm really prioritizing um, getting some protein as well as carbs because that was a tough workout, like tough okay so that's what we're about to do right now so let's go okay so first up i have some tofu i'm about to marinate the tofu scramble i'm about to go drain this really quick all right so this is the tofu it has been frozen and then thawed out again i've shared this before but that's my method of cooking tofu garlic powder, 
black salt, which helps give it an eggy flavor. We have turmeric, which is going to give it that color. Oh, paprika, where are you? Add in some smoked paprika. That should be enough. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable broth. Oh, I forgot to put in my nutritional yeast. I actually just bought some more nutritional yeast, so. This one cup of plant milk. I'm using cornstarch, works like a charm. It's like one tablespoon of cornstarch. I might actually do like one and a half here. Some cinnamon. I also have some vanilla extract, which I'm gonna add in here as well. It's not light, that's all of it. And then last but not least, I'm using, you would either go in with a brown sugar or you know your preferred sweetener. I'm using coconut sugar. And then we're just gonna whisk this together. And at this point, if you want to, you can add in some vegan cheese. I'm not gonna add it in, but typically I would. my french toast, my tofu scramble, and my vegan sausages. So I just added in some vegetable broth to kind of cook this plant-based sausage down. Now I'm about to season it up. I'm just gonna use some random seasonings. Uh-oh, <laughs> that was smoked paprika. Let's see. Have some garlic powder. What else do I wanna add in here? I got some dash onion and herb, oops, we gotta season this stuff up, okay, and what else do I wanna use, I feel like that might be it, to add some salt in here, and some black pepper, that's a lot of seasoning, but that's what we need, and then I'm gonna go back in and add some vegetable broth, and that's just to help it, the flavors get absorbed. Mix that all up really good. I probably should have did this before, I forgot to. I'm adding in my onions, as well as some frozen spinach. Olive oil. All right, so let's get started. 
So I'm just gonna add down my vegan sausage that I just cooked up. This is the vegan cheese that I'm gonna put down. All right, and now we just wrap. Just wanna squeeze, roll it. So they are all done in the air fryer. Look at how delicious they look. I cannot wait. I'm about to top it with some salsa as well as dip it in some vegan sour cream, but they look incredible. How delicious do these look? They are going to be so good. Yes. Yes, 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 okay. And they're very easy. So again, you can add, um, instead of doing like the meat substitute, which next time I do these, I'm gonna do them with mushrooms for sure. But again, my mushrooms have went bad. So you can use mushrooms, you can use a plant-based meat if you want to. You can substitute it with beans. I wish I had black beans because that was gonna be my second option. I didn't have any black beans. I'm like, girl, what do you have? So I had them in the air fryer for 10 minutes. I had them in the air fryer. My hands are so messy. <laughs> Don't look. But I had them in the air fryer for 10 minutes on 380 degrees. Back to the basics. Been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases. Came from the basement. Never been shameless. So I stay in the streets. It's dangerous. So I might... All right, now I don't think y'all have ever seen me cook with pumpkin seeds, but if you watched my vlog from last week, my Europe vlog, we had went to a restaurant. They put some roasted pumpkin seeds on my avocado toast, and when I tell y'all I feel like it was life-changing, I was like, okay, I have to do this when I get home. So I am cooking up some pumpkin seeds. I believe at the restaurant they may have put theirs in the oven. I'm just cooking it on the stove, super easy. Why have I not been eating pumpkin seeds like this? Like, what? I don't know if we would call what I'm doing here the lazy girl method or just the smart girl method because we were not trying to make any more dirty dishes. So we're gonna mix this up, add some seasoning inside of the avocado skin. Y'all, these pumpkin seeds are so good. Like, I could literally just, like, eat them without putting them on anything. But they're going to go on the bagel. Tomatoes that I cut up. Just for some added greens. To add some um, sriracha as well. Not a lot because I don't want it too too hot. All right, and here is my breakfast. So I have the bagel we just put together as well as my fruit. But I'm excited to eat. Y'all, I can't believe I came this close and I know you can't see me right now, but this, like my fingers are almost touching. I came this close to not recording me making this. I was like, you know what? No, I have to record this because the people need it. Because y'all, this was off the chain. Whenever I just want like that good comforting breakfast, I'm likely going to turn to something with grits. So this morning I'm just whipping up some smoked cashew grits yes smoked cashew because i'm using a plant-based cheese that is it has a base of cashews and it has a smoky flavor i actually purchased this vegan cheese when i went up to dc i went to dc vegan the restaurant and they have like different things that they sell and one of the items that they sell is vegan cheese and this is a brand i've actually had this brand before and i thought it was so delicious i haven't had their smoked cashew cheese but y'all i am pretty i'm done with like i've eaten all of this plant-based cheese because it's so good but adding it to the grits listen chef's kiss okay
if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching this video i really 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 appreciate it it honestly means more to me than y'all will ever know but i hope that this video inspired you to cook for yourself to cook for your friends to cook for your family and even showed you hey i can participate in meatless monday i can enjoy a plant-based breakfast that is what i create these videos for to help inspire you to get in the kitchen so thank you again for watching and i will see you next week